Hey everyone, it's me, NGC, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to Ray Rance's SML 2024 January Ranked. Now, for someone who has done 2023 and is about to do 2024, Ray Rance decided that, like, he is going to review every month of SML, and every time, like, there's a few videos in that month, he's going to review it for a video. So yeah, he's going to make, like, 11 more of these videos, and aside... If, like, no, why not react to this, honestly? No, I was actually deciding whether or not if I should react to it tomorrow, since Ray Rance posted the video yesterday, and I got a notification for it, so I was deciding if I should watch it now, or wait until tomorrow to do a reaction, and I decided, you know, why not do that, honestly? Because it sounds like a pretty fun idea. There was that one guy who did this, but we're not going to talk about him anymore. But anyway, let's get started. I'm really excited to see this video, and I just want to clarify that if there's any different opinions that this guy has other than me, I don't care because it's just his opinion, and I expect it. Like, I respect his opinion, but if I see Junior Kinat Penelope lower, like, or higher than a 2, <laughs> that's gonna be in. That's gonna. You know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get on to this video. Welcome to a new series I want to try. I mean, technically not new, since maybe someone before did this before him, but- Yeah, yeah, someone did do this before you. Let's just go with that. We're gonna rank every single video of this year, monthly, and so you can get my full thoughts on every updated video okay. that comes out. And we're gonna do this on a tier list. Oh, a tier list. Okay, that sounds interesting. And if you guys don't know who Ray Rant is, he's a SML like critic who talks about SML and the problems with it. And as someone who else does it, like I can like I can see what he's talking about. And I can agree on what he's talking about, honestly, but tier list. That's new. And I'm gonna do things very differently here. Hmm. So I have three ratings. Good videos mad videos oh. and then we have bad or awful videos yes yeah, so <laughs> if junior king adds penelope is not a bad video or even stinking that's gonna be a real problem like honestly i don't expect ray Rans to enjoy a video like be a good episode because like rogan like this is the moment where rogan decides to not put any effort into his videos at all no joke he literally said that in like one of his vlogs on chewie's channel but even still, they still go in the bad category. And then we're going to rank them with a pie I like how the bad episode compared to, like, meh and good episodes. The bad episode has, like, more, like, <laughs> it has more torture in it. Like, hold on, let's go back. Go up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh oops. It's not good, but hold on. I want to go back and see. I know this is kind of fail. Like, just go to the reaction. I just want to see this for a minute, okay? Uh, videos man. Matter, but like, in the bad episodes like how compared to all the others it's like more like heavy kind of thing like more fiery than the others that's kind of cool videos and bad videos are in every month but quickly let's discuss january for a sec logan okay. decided not to put any effort this month yeah this is exactly what i was talking about where logan did not put any effort into his videos just because the ad revenue was bad because the ad revenue sucks in january that always mm, confused me like is. why is january always the worst month but logan thought since he's not making mm, much money he decided yeah. to not put much effort in the videos january. that'll motivate your audience like, to get a I'm job if i'm gonna be honest compared to 2023 2023's january is actually better than this one not gonna lie it's nice to see he cares about Let's the content and something. audience expectations. It's not well, like he's doing it just he's solely back. for the money. I don't know why, this logic back. confused me because your videos get the same amount of views all the time and sacrificing exactly. effort just for one month just because you're making less money. You're just He is literally speaking facts. He no no joke. This guy's really speaking facts. Asking people to criticize you more. And this quote unquote business decision is no exception. I don't get it. Logan is already rich, right? Oh, yeah. A millionaire to be exact. So one I want to point out one why is Pablo's look on Burger King cut is not gonna kill like, you. Why is his look on Burger King different? Honestly, that's kind of weird, but it's better honestly. So I'm not gonna complain. Anyway, let's focus on the videos and see. Okay. Did the lack of effort really hurt the month that badly? Well, mm. let's get to the ranking. Yeah. So for my video, even though I enjoyed a few videos, there were so many bad videos. Honestly, like it was actually insane, but. Let's get on to it. 
the first video of the year, yep. and the video is a continuation of the dating arc of Junior and Penelope dating. Yeah, I don't know why this is a series, honestly. Like, it start off good, but it's just old now, and Logan should just scrap it, honestly. And since it's my first time talking about this, I'm gonna say it. I will make a video regarding this whole Junior and Penelope thing, so here it is. I was open- I'm actually gonna react to that, honestly. If Raymond actually decides to make that, I'll actually react to that. No joke, honestly. Also, I think I'm sticking to, like, face cam reactions or non fake face cam reactions what i meant but i'll post a community post saying which like do you want me to do for the reaction videos do you want me to do non face cam reactions or face cam reactions i'm not really sure what to do the idea of junior and penelope dating because i was expecting both of them to have some growth and to be yeah. fair both of them arguing got like this would be the perfect way for people like these characters to actually have character development like character development i doubted it but Hmm, it would actually be pretty good, but... Nope! I was right! Very annoying. It sounded interesting, and I wanted Junior to get better as a character. Definitely. And especially some character growth for Penelope, because in my honest opinion, Penelope is the most boring main character SML. I'm gonna be honest, I hated her. Like, when she was first introduced, I actually hated this character so much. Maybe even more than Rose, actually. That's kind of surprising, but... <laughs> Nowadays, even though she's not still good, she's all right, I guess. I don't really know. Ever introduced. But this video, it shows exactly why Junior is one of the worst modern characters and why this Dabbit. ship is so useless and pointless. In the previous video, he cheated on Penelope and then gaslighted her into justifying- I'm surprised that Woken actually did, like, like, he actually continued this video from last time because I thought the only videos that he continued the other videos from was the- Jeffy 18 or 19, like the Jeffy birthday videos, but no, he actually did continuation. That's new, but he did it in a bad way, not gonna lie. Why cheating was good. In this video, he wants her back, and when she refuses, he kidnaps her. But yeah. not after five minutes of filler where Cody refusing Oh my god, I hate this scene, honestly. Like, this played on so much. All I was saying for the scene was just get to the point. Just say what you're gonna say. Like, it's fear. It's fear. It's fear. Like, actually, he's speaking facts. Tell us what he wanted to say. Filler really is one of the biggest issues of SML nowadays. Definitely. I kind of like Brooklyn Guy not being an idiot until Junior got away. Yeah, that was with actually the only thing I liked about this video on the Like him not being an idiot, it actually wowed me. Like, wow. Yeah, but still, this video was not good. I'm just, I'm really excited to see what he rates this. Always does. Overall, a bad video to start the new year. It's not funny, the filler- Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Woo! Yeah! What do you want video in and I don't care. Valid! Woo! Okay, good. Okay. Valid. Very valid. Things especially ruined it, and Junior is so insufferable. Honestly, Definitely. I'm not a fan of the dating arc either because nothing interesting happened mm -hmm. ever since they dated. Yeah, and they're not even a couple at all. But that's a video yeah. for another time. Like, at least for Cody and Timmy's relationship, even though it's very weird, at least they're good to each other. Like at least they're not toxic on like Penelope and Junior's relationship. Honestly. So, remember the video that Junior got free french fries and yeah, um, McDonald's that was video. far from the happy-go-lucky clown he's advertised as? Yeah, this video reminds I me honestly of- I almost forgot about this video because, like, that was months ago and basically every SMO video is nearly the same, honestly. That, like, a lot about that. I'm not hating Anthony's acting at the character, he's just doing what he's told. But this video is just so similar to Junior's free french fries, down to the fact I that- I actually, like, said this in my video. The video felt so much, like, it had so many vibes that they should have done something different. Like, th they just repeat a lot of scenes that they did in Genius Free French Fries, honestly. Ronald again showing up to the house and acting like a drunken, foul mouth character. Though, I will say, I did like the casino scene with Anthony, Elena dressed up as Wendy's, and Pablo dressed up as Burger King mm, again. That scene was but, good. um, yeah, this video just exists. It's not terrible, but most of the video just reminds me of... I'm kind of worried because I actually enjoyed this video, even though it barely had anything to do with the title, so... I'm kind of hoping this is not a bad episode. Junior Free French Fries. Even the ending when the Burger King mascot yeah, again beats up Ronald McDonald. It's more mediocre because, honestly, I'm not going to remember this. Okay, um, 
I wouldn't go that well and say this video was bad because I actually enjoyed it. It had a lot of funny moments, even though it repeated a lot of stuff from Judas V French fries, but yeah, it's all right. I don't really, I don't really disagree, honestly. Video. My biggest issue is that the video just drags on and the jokes drag mm. on too long as well. But other than that, nothing much to say. So the video is just okay. Mm -hmm. Another video that just exists. Just oh. <laughs> This video. I enjoyed this video. Open. this is not a bad video. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing them, actually. Decides to have a club because he couldn't attend a club with the other adults. The idea you sounds know, decent and could have been cool to see, but we don't even see the inside of the club that much. It's another video yeah. that nothing that special happens. The like, most I actually was originally going to rate this video a 9 or 9.5 out of 10, I'd say, but due to, like, after re-watching it, I figured... It was barely in the club at all. Like, yeah, so that's why I rated it lower than that. What happens is that they hire Bully to monitor the outside, and we get some brief character interactions. The only part I recall off the top of my head after having just watched the video for the review is when Chef Pee Pee brought a pizza and mm. Bully Bill kicked him out. Man, that's a good Domino's pizza gone to waste. Yeah, like, I even know it's pepperoni. Still, like, oh my god, why would you do that, boy? It's a pizza! Mamma mia, it's a pizza! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I also want to point out, I, I was very confused with Bowie being, like, the bodyguard in, like, the Jeffy's Club video, because why would he do that, especially for Junior? Like, he really got him in trouble in the last video, like, the last Junior video, Junior Connects Penelope, so... Why would he be the scary guy? I was actually confused with that scene, honestly. And the only other part I remember is the most abrupt ending in oh, a while. Fire. A fire happens, yeah. Brooklyn guy decides to act childish for Bully Bill not letting him in. And the <laughs> video, I kid you not, ends. This video is just the most mediocre, standard video. Uh -oh. The comedy wasn't really there. Okay. The story just happened. Oh, oh my god. It's not a bad video. Okay. I was actually, I was actually kind of worried, honestly, because it felt like he was gonna not enjoy this video, honestly, but, <laughs> yeah, okay, thank god. But nothing really happens, it's just so forgettable. So I was wondering when the video first began. Okay, best video, best video of the month. Not gonna lie, this is the best video of the month. I don't want to hear it. Best video of the month. Best video. Why did I month. have deja vu watching four, five, this? Six, seven, and then eight, I realized nine, ten, the video, video is kind of like Super Powers 2, where Junior was able to yeah, read everybody's I mind. But I will say, this is one of the so more familiar. better videos. It's not great or anything, but it's kind of been a while since we had a Brooklyn Guy video. Yeah. And thankfully, it's not the childish fourth wall breaking Thank clown God. side of him. Yeah, he just acts his unique. normal sarcastic self. I did love the guy who had a body in the trunk and he cried to not go to jail and him locking Penelope in oh. a cat cage was funny and I will admit Those scenes were funny, honestly. I did love the Sam Raimi reference, but even I will agree, everybody quoting Bonesaw, yeah, it kind of got annoying after a while because for some reason this became a big joke throughout the second half. It's just okay, everybody's quoting the movie. The video's just okay. It's just that the video doesn't do anything. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Someone called the ambulance because I think I had a heart attack. <laughs> no, it's just a joke, but like, yeah, my third episode. That was actually a good video. Not gonna lie. Well, if it if he says this is better than the Golden Nugget and Jeffy's Club and the rest of the videos, it's fine, I guess. Yeah else that unique probably one of the best videos of the month so far and that's the kinda... best one of the best it's the best i'm kind of worried is it not the best oh no how what could be better like, what could be better unless he, he says the stick out is better nothing could be better than this video honestly Sad. not even a good video just kind of average in the worst way damn Okay, side notes about tornadoes, but I remember in middle school we had tornado drills, and the best way to protect yourself oh. from a tornado is not hiding under your desk. Anyway, this, this is actually a running joke in, like, the summer school series, if you guys remember, like, the summer school series where they hide under a desk. 
I don't know. It was not the summer school series. No, they were hiding the corn. It was actually in a Cable Ten video. I remember when it was like when in the video, like Jeffy pulls the fire alarm, like Jeffy's school prank. I think the video was called. And when he pulled it, everyone like hide under their desk, and Jackie Chu was forced to teach them how to fire safety with not hiding under your desk. Like I actually remember that. It was not from SNL. It was from Cable Ten. It is random. Like. What the fuck mm. type of random? Mm. But yay, Super D is back, and I do not miss this character at all. Definitely. And wasn't his last appearance in the show trying to hypnotize Rose to love him? Actually, it was Jeffy's crayons. Where, like, I thought he was going to be gone forever since we haven't seen him in ages. And after that scene, we said, let's go out and be friends and find other girls than Rose. I actually thought, but no, he's back, and he loves Rose. Like, what happened? Did he have a falling out with Super Big D? Did he get tired of the other girls? Like, Rogan does not explain. He really needs to keep up keep up with continuity. Anyway, I do not care about Super D at all. His only mm. personality trait is flexing his muscles and hitting on Rose. That's about it. You see on a new- Like, give, like, like, show Super D the real Rose and he'll, like, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> like, why? Why would he love her? My god. That tornado man is sending the tornado to Florida. I wish I had a face cam because I literally said, what the fuck when this came on? Like, mm. even for SML standards, this is just... Huh? And then we get Definitely. Mosquito Man, and Mosquito Man served no purpose to be Definitely. here, by the way. This episode is just random, and I'm gonna be honest, I was so bored watching this. The entire mm. video is inside the house, and even worse, I fell asleep watching this. No joke, I fell yeah. asleep on my desk watching this video. See, the when video you fall asleep is just on your Super desk D saying this he'll video, definitely go stop Tornado cool. Man, but oh no, he's scared of him. It's like for 10 minutes, he just keeps stalling. Now, I get it, it was all filmed inside during an Oshawa tornado, but just like Hurricane Jeffy, which was filmed during an Oshawa yeah, hurricane, video this video this did video. not need to exist at all. The video could have been swapped for a different idea entirely. But if the video is gonna be this pointless and boring and humorless, then I don't think it deserves a mediocre. It might be a hot take, but yeah. it's a bad video. It's not the worst video yeah. in the world, but oh it's so God. like I wouldn't say the video is that bad. Like the beginning was pretty promising, but damn. I mean, at the same time, I don't really disagree with him that much, but... Damn. Boring and not funny. Forgot to tell you guys when I this mean, adds the title on, gives exactly what it like, happened. When this adds on, I'm gonna skip the ads, honestly, because... I guess, I guess. But the video is just that. Based on a real-life trend of a viral video, Logan decides Wait, to parody it. It's one of those videos. I actually and didn't know the there was video a trend. wasn't very funny, it has some funny moments. No, while no, Jeffy no, attacking no. the judge wasn't it's still funny, bad video, thanks but, to the like, most blatant title, I did love seeing just how more injured Judge oh, that was, was funny. I laughed. and increasing Jeffy's charges. And it was funny seeing Jeffy increasingly getting more restrained, and he still manages to yeah, beat him be, up. Also, that, the judge like, Anthony Parsons Scared me. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> and Jeffy beating up Judge Anthony through the phone was funny. But even still, the attacking scenes got so predictable. Mm. But now, the bad part is the fact that Rose getting mad at Mario for Jeffy getting arrested despite the fact trend. Jeffy stole the damn toy. The animation is just... yay. But it's a bit better? Maybe? I don't know. But even still, the animation was just filler with Brooklyn Guy going on for two minutes, and then, and then boom, escaped. Jeffy escaped anyway, exactly. making it pointless. But I do think the worst part is the ending that proves everything oh was pointless. God, the ending. judges somehow paid Jeffy to so attack boring. them to get a day off. Like, I'm huh? not gonna lie, that ending was what? boring. The video is inoffensive at the very least, so a combination of a predictable plot, some scenes that dragged on too long, and a pointless ending, I'll give it a high mediocre. What? Okay, um, did you hear yourself with a prick? <laughs> because how is that a mad video? That video was bad. How? I mean, it, it was alright, but it was a bad video. I thought it was going to rate it a bad video because you had a lot of negatives to say, but damn. So, remember the episode where Chef Pee Pee oh, opened yeah, a restaurant video. inside mm. the house, except Chef Pee Pee's restaurant Way had customers in this video. going on with an interesting plot with hilarious characters and moments? And remember how disturbing Heartbroken was for the small controversy oh. of how raunchy it was? Well, say Let's hello see. to Cody's Hot Dog Restaurant, 
I was dreading watching this for a second time for the That's review. Me. I'm not gonna stall. This video is awful. I remember seeing the thumbnail and I already knew exactly to a T where this video was going. Mm. Considering the fact that Cody and Timmy are gay and stereotypes, who could have guessed the, the video? entire video was just gay that. jokes? And that's the only joke of the video. Pretty much every sentence that comes out of their mouth is another gay joke. It's repetitive. It's so annoying. And I got the nothing else to say. To and go. the plot is non-existent. Sure, it's about them opening a hot dog restaurant. But they do it because they want to. At least Chef Pee, Pee wanted to open a restaurant for a good reason. Yeah. Here, they do it because... They do it, Rogan and surprise, surprise, they get shut down. And not in a funny way, like in Chef Pee Pee's restaurant. Yes, I'm already not a fan of Timmy and Cody videos because they just say and do gay stuff. It's yes. not a cute romantic thing. It's just raunchy and disturbing. Oh Cody, I can deal with somewhat, but Timmy used to be just a kid who was real-mannered until a few episodes later, they suddenly turned him gay, which was the most sudden change i ever seen. I mean, I'm not surprised since Rogan said... Like in behind the scenes video, he said before, like the video where Tommy, Tim, Tim no, Tommy, no, Timmy got, turns gay. All right, Tiki was in like behind the scenes for like the Hogwarts Two's video where he said, "What if Timmy was secretly gay until like during the crazy boyfriend?" So I expected that, but it was still very really confusing. Timmy used to be the most fleshed out hucker dude, but now I don't give a fuck about the fucker dudes. This video, the most disturbing, unfunny, That's, and yeah. gross video we Honestly. got in a while. Awful, repetitive, and gross as hell. Oh, on. whoa, I would say it's a mad video, but whoa, I wouldn't say it's that bad. Like, the part was kind of unique, but whoa. But yes, dude, the humor is really good. Okay, man. Well, we start off right off the bat with Rose buying a $30,000 oh purse. God. This bitch has not worked a day in her life, and she's spending Mario's money. Hmm. And side note, she don't have a job. She not making money. So why do you need a purse if you're not making money? Goodman is aware of Mario what? not paying his house payment. Like, didn't we do this already in Mr. Goodman's credit card, Chef Jeffy, Career Day, Marvin the Intern? I would say a few more examples, but we'd be here all day, honestly. And hundreds of other videos that Marvin hasn't paid the house payment yet. Anyway, Goodman has a heart attack and he's a heart. Like, and just like how Mr. Poor Man was just insanely boring, I got the same vibe here. Ball, Goodman is just important. here the whole time and he's just complaining. Yeah, that now, I did like Poor Richard so returning stupid. for a small cameo, but most of the video is just oh, Goodman uh, trying to find a heart boring. and being picky about it. And again, the whole video is just Goodman complaining. God and again, we have another sense. pointless ending that shows everything was pointless yep. and you never needed a oh, heart. Sorry, I mean, the video from started away. interesting until you see it actually play out. And this is the sixth mediocre video on the list. So sadly, another video. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm not going to remember. Yeah. I almost forgot First things first, video, even for a non-sports fan like myself, how many videos have we seen that Tom Brady needs Mario to sabotage the game for yeah, him? Yeah, why Mario? We have the Super Bowl problem, the unretirement, Jeffy plays football. I know there's a few more videos I'm forgetting. I wouldn't say in Jeffy's football, but Tom Brady wanted him to help. Like, it was just that, but... Either way, it's still kind of the same. But this video has been done before. And aside from Jeffy plays football, the rest are just so forgettable and bland. So what about this video? This is one of the worst time it's wasters transition. I have ever seen. It's so predictable. I wish I was joking, <sighs> but I was five minutes watching it and I already forgot what the plot was because everyone is just doing random stuff. Yeah. Also, I did not miss Brooklyn Guy talking oh about Jimmy God. Butler. So remember when I said a month ago it would be a shame if they brought that back? I'm yeah. sorry I killed you. I'll be honest, yeah. this video was so boring that I hey, actually Patrick, fell asleep. I it's again, him. one of those Dude, videos where pretty sick. much everything oh. is on the red couch oh, no, with no back. effort at all. Here. It was nothing but the characters talking. If the video had one thing, one thing that was funny, it would have been something. But this video is so boring. Mm. It's not the worst video ever, but I think the video is boring enough to be considered bad. Definitely. That well, I will positive. say the second video in a row where Brooklyn Guy as a main character was worrying, but I won't lie, the video had me interested the first time watching it. Mm. It reminded me of Brooklyn Guy the Assassin with him oh, on another mission. Good. But the issue is that this video still somehow had a lot of filler. The whole point of the video was waiting for one character to show up, and they oh show up God. at the last literal minute of the video. Exactly. And this to be fair, I did see the ending punchline come from a mile away. It feels like the entire video was made with so much build up an intrigue over what was happening only to find out Who's that? oh so that's what they're doing yeah. i didn't laugh i'm not offended it's just it huh 
the positives are the fact my man Crush finally came yeah. back after a while of Whoa. being gone. The scene of Brooklyn guy and the other guy swearing at each that other was- That actually reminded me of the movie. What was that movie? Oh yeah, Tattoo, like in the movie, right? The teddy bear and like all the neighbors fight it. And honestly, Smoking should have done more of that. That was pretty funny. But the bad part is again so much build up and the fact that we mm. spent the entire video in the same spot inside a car. Next, does the video have a lot more adult jokes than usual? Like Brooklyn guy describing in great details over what his ex wife boyfriend have. Lisa and it's a minute long. Anyway, this scene too. does nothing for me. And on the subject of pointless, what was with the scene of Rose and Mario? Oh Car my god, I said this in my video. I said that how. This scene was so pointless. Honestly, like I literally said that. So pointless. Holy Hank, like pointless. it was so suddenly added in the video hey, for Hank. no reason. Hey, it was only 40 hey, seconds. Hey, Why was Hank that here? Solo. Anyway, the video is just mediocre. It's not a video I'm really gonna come back to. It was kind of interesting watching it the first okay, time. Okay, so we wouldn't consider this video better than like Brooklyn, like Brooklyn Guy the Mind Wheel. So is that the best video? I, I don't know. I, but honestly. the second time, I don't have any reason to. Okay. Since we're now on the topic of Ken related videos, the Ken series <sighs> were fresh and funny and weird at one point in the show. And then you over the last this, few this years, they video? have been so forgettable I'm gonna get mad. and left collecting I'm dust, get mad. milkshaking, the weekend. That one doesn't even yeah. roll off the tongue. Don't get me started on taking to the pawn shop or whatever the fuck it is. I'm yeah. too lazy to research or care. And now on the subject of Cody, I gotta say it. I'm slowly starting to hate him this year what? because his gay humor along with Timmy is oh really starting God. to hurt me. And you guys know I love Cody. Side <laughs> tangent aside, this that's video, so throw it in the oh, God, that's videos that will be forgotten. Like the the first two minutes disgusting. alone is an omen with Timmy and Cody being gay because apparently oh. just being gay is comedy instead of oh. having subtle clever oh. writing. Yo. Without saying, I hate this freak show, especially after last video. Yes. And this video reminds me of that. It's just Cody and Timmy making weird comments practically every sentence. Now with the plot. The plot is... Ken is stinky. And then we find out at the end, Cody went in his pants the whole time. So that's why Ken was stinky. Ah, disgusting. I almost threw up watching this video, honestly. You're so disgusting. Jesus Christ. At least the other videos have something about Ken. Taken was about Ken getting taken. Broken oh was about God. Ken being broken in half. Yeah, those videos I can't believe better. I have to defend Heartbroken. As dumb and creepy as that video is, yeah. at least that video had a plot of Cody thinking that Ken was yeah. cheating on him. But this one, no. Ken stinks. And this video is 12 minutes long. The video did not need to exist, and this idea was incredibly shallow with clearly no real reason to be made. And I'm sorry, yes. but the Cody and Timmy thing, it's already gotten so unfunny and repetitive. Oh I'm exhausted just talking about Thank it. It's you. a bad video. Thank you so much. So Thank weird enough, you. I had Fire. to watch this video twice to see how I really felt about it. At first, I thought the video was mediocre. Sure, I didn't like the animation part this stretching for two bad. minutes at the start of the video. And by the way, it was nothing but filler. But the filler is the least of my problems. This video heavily features Ronald, and he is hey. the exact same character from the last video. And he I'm just gonna say it now. Bad, I don't outright hate Ronald, Ronald, but this character does nothing for me. Yeah. I don't find him funny oh, so and actually kind of annoying. And this is his second this appearance this month. They this one last joke video is just being honestly, angry. I thought it was gonna be in that video, but then they said maybe next video. So I knew exactly that was gonna be in this video, honestly. That's it. He screams every line. I kid you not. And he is heavily featured in the second half of the video. Mm. At first, I thought the video wasn't too bad until I watched it again. And Ronald's screen time was not only not very funny, not but it dragged on. Lie. He's in the video for six minutes, even longer than his appearance in the Goat and Nugget. Again, six I don't minutes? hate Anthony, I but just that. the character yeah. of Ronald. What do I think about the video? I thought it wasn't too bad, but now I think that Ronald's unfunny joke of being mad, combined with the fact this video is so boring with so much filler, plus the fact that nothing happens in the video, it all adds up to a not good episode. Yep, I think it's a bad episode. A light bad video to yep. be fair. I wasn't yep. angry or grossed That's out, valid. but the video is just so valid. boring with a little bit of frustration when it comes to Ronald's part dragging on for so long. Mm. 
I can summarize my thoughts of this video pretty quickly. Junior mm. thinks Penelope's having a misunderstanding, and then it turns out nothing happened at all. And this video is 12 minutes. So what do we I do? We argue about a water tower for minutes a on it. Water the video's tower. bad. I have literally nothing to say. Yes. This video Thank gives me you. nothing to work oh with. My and God. Shocker is one of those videos where they film pretty much everything on the red couch with nothing going on. Yes. That's all I got to say that about is. this one. Wait, this is the last video, wasn't it? And that covers every oh, single yeah, video, video of this month. So now let's look at the ratings. Okay. And, um, oof. Um, so oh. we have. <laughs> I guess my prediction was right about no good videos. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, so this kind of texture is actually pretty good, honestly. I'm not sure if I can just come here now. Of zero good videos, six mediocre videos, yeah. and seven bad videos. And Wait, what about this the month was pretty lackluster. Not completely okay. horrible, but this month was very uneventful. So based on my personal reference, okay. as well as what the chart has to say, I think this month overall was just bad. I uh, mean, kind of expected that since Logan was going to put effort, but yeah, the month was still bad. Again, not completely horrible. I'm not going to trash the month entirely. But even still, almost all the videos were just so lackluster and not memorable Ooh. at all. They don't do anything new or exciting yeah. or even good. The videos just felt so samey. But like I said, I'm not going to trash the month entirely. So on that note, let's look at the tier list and see where I place. Okay. Okay. Broken Guy, the mind reader, better be the best video on the screen. My video rankings. Jeffy attacks the judge is the best. What? What? How? <laughs> why? No, why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But how is Jeffy Attacks the Judge better than this video? How? That had more fill than this video. How? This video was the month so far, even though that's not really saying a lot. But mm. I did think it was the most funniest one. But the guy, the mind reader, is the second best video I mean, with I the goat and nugget opinion, far behind it. What? Jeffy's Club was just okay, but I didn't think it did anything that remarkable. Goodman's heart transplant was okay, but the video was just so unbelievably boring so for the premise. That video the stakeout the sounded like a good concept, but the video was just waiting for something to happen, and it was just so much build up to the mm. very end of the video. Jeffy's mad cow disease isn't too terrible, but I can't really say it's a mediocre video, and it's good all choice. thanks to Ronald. The tornado would have been mediocre if it wasn't so unbelievably boring. <sighs> Cody's hot dog restaurant. Do I even need to say anything? I think I said plenty yeah. enough in the review. Stinkin' is the second worst video what? of the month, and I pretty much hate that video for the same reason as Cody's Hot Dog tired? Restaurant. The great game thankfully didn't make me frustrated as Cody's Hot Dog Restaurant or Stinkin', but undoubtedly it's the most boring video of the month. And the same could be said about Junior's Crazy Assumption. The only thing I remember is them arguing about a water tower. That's about it. Really? The most first scene you remember? I also think this video is done with, but... Yeah, that's my reaction to Ray Rance's every SRL Toy Toy 4 January video ranked. So, what do I think of this? I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't really disagree with him that much. Only in the fact that Jeffy Attacks the Judge is better than Broken Guy the Mind Reader, but... <laughs> it was still... No, it was still good. He had some valid points, honestly. Anyway, I think that's it for this reaction. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm considering doing this every month when he posts these videos. We can just hope both that February is a better month than January, but we'll see for today's video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this reaction, guys, and I'll see you all next time for the next month's reaction. If that's going to come out. Hopefully I actually finish it, unlike another guy that didn't finish it, but I could even bother saying his name. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you on the next video.